Day three, and as you can see, <laughs> we went through a gallon of milk. Um, you know, trying to get the texture. We think maybe I kind of... Yeah, kinda yeah, we're, we're, it. we're yeah. pretty close, yeah, you know, definitely. Good enough for the home barista anyway. So now Max <laughs> is going to show me with water the techniques of actually pouring that milk into the espresso. Yeah, and totally. And we're going to make a faux... Heart. Yeah, it's a ghost heart. A ghost so, heart. Okay. Good. So uh, yeah, it's. I always recommend practicing at home with uh, some water, and even if you're a, a professional and learning barista, water is a really yep. great way to kind of learn the size of the cup, where you're gonna pour, and that sort of a thing. Yeah, you're not and you waste, don't waste all your milk. Yeah, right. Milk uh, and coffee. Yeah, so it's, it's really great. Um, and I always, before I pour anything, I always want to make sure I have a plan because my grandpa used to say, you know, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So um, I always think about filling up the cup about halfway first, starting nice and high, and then dropping down really low once mm -hmm. we get about 50 to 60% full. Then we're gonna speed up how fast we're pouring. So mm -hmm. we're gonna start out low and slow, and then we're gonna go down And the speed low. gets the, the foam out right. of it? Uh, yes, yeah, so yeah. So the slower you pour, the more liquid milk you get out, yep. and the faster you pour, the more foam wants to come out. Comes with it. Foam. Yep. Gotcha. Uh, and so that's so gonna help the foam pop out. Yep. And it's gonna feel a little bit unnatural how fast you have to pour. Um, but yeah. just getting that down is going to be important. So that's one of the places where I think I've been messing up. I wasn't pouring it fast yeah, at all. Yeah, totally. That's that's a big a big deal. So um, just breaking that weird feeling of like oh, I'm going to spill it everywhere is, yeah. is a good a so good thing it. to do. Yeah, totally. Just do it over sink and practice over sink. Well, I've It'll done take that. Care of you. I have spilled it all over the place. <laughs> yeah. I'm, you know, trying to get that last little bit and. Then <laughs> yeah. There's always, uh, if you ever look at like professional latte air pictures, if you look at the back of the cup, a lot of times there'll be like a faint yeah, brown yeah. where it starts spilling up. out of the back, you yep. know, just because they're keeping it really low. So let's practice with a little bit of water and then I'll pass it off to you. So Sounds good. Let's uh, fill it up halfway first. We're going to start out slow or slow flow and high off the cup. We're going to fill it up about half and we're spinning it around to keep the foam from gelling up on top. Then you're going to break your pour. Drop down in the center of the cup, pour fast, and then lift up and draw through. That was fast. Oh, yeah, yeah. there goes the brown there that goes. would have been. Yeah. <laughs> These not neutral cups are, are uh, known for that little are they? handle spill that sometimes happens when you get oh, a, little, really? a little overzealous. So okay. I'll pass that off to you and you can go from there. All right. Excellent. Yeah, get a nice grip. Yeah, you got to have the fingers yeah, right. Yeah, a, a big sure. deal. All right, perfect. So once you're halfway full, give it a little break. break. Come in right into the center of the cup. Pour faster. Yeah, perfect. And lift up and draw through. There you go. That would have been nice. That would look great. See a little ghost heart on there? Woohoo! <laughs> nice work. Tense try as a charm. Yeah, that's we were, right. We were playing around with the, the water before just a little bit. I'm going to yeah. do it again. Yeah, definitely. Does that work for you? Oh, no, absolutely. Please do. Uh, okay. Practice until you feel really, really comfortable. Oh. <laughs> when I'm 80, maybe. <laughs> no wisecracks out there. I heard you say she looks 80 already. I heard that. <laughs> Great. Now. Yeah, right in the center. Pour faster. Pour faster. And lift up and draw through. Oh yeah, look at that. That would have looked right. really great. See. So. This 80-year-old can do it. Yeah. And All a couple right, of so. troubleshooting tips at home real quick is sometimes whenever you whenever you stop to pour, that top will gel up and then you go in and pour and you can't quite break through the foam that's already kind of yep. on the top. Mm -hmm. That's because uh, you waited a little bit too long to start pouring after you did the break. Mm. So there's a little bit of a time element that does come into play on that. And so if you're at home and you're wondering like, why can't I get the milk to pop up? Sometimes it's because you waited a little bit too long to start pouring. So you did your gotcha. break and then you kind of got a second reset and came back in and it gelled up already by Dinked that point. Dinked around. So, yeah, so that's okay. a little... little Tidbit, so, but so now we're gonna go into milk. Let's yeah, break. yeah. I think let's you're get ready. Let's a gallon of milk. Yeah, and let's we'll uh, go let's for it. do we'll it for right real. Back. So uh, we've gone ahead. We've prepped uh, an espresso extraction, and we're gonna go ahead and do that, and have you steam the milk, and <laughs> we'll get going. So and it's important to have everything ready ahead of time because yeah. you want it all to be. In you want your brewing and your steaming, if possible, to happen at the same time. As not all yeah. machines you can do that on. Yeah. But if you can, do it. If not. I do Definitely. my milk first, and, okay. I, and then I do the shot. And I yeah, keep it, for I, latte art, I, def, I actually recommend doing the shot first and then the milk. Oh, okay. Um, just because it's easier for to, the art. Yeah, if, if you just if you just want to get like a nice little piece of latte art, yeah, it's a little bit easier. To if do you that, want but, taste. Yeah, but you can keep the milk swirling too, and that's a totally yeah. fine way to keep everything going. But, okay. But Sounds if you got good. the double, the double boiler, use it. You know? Yeah, you're good. Do both at once. So yep. I'm going to get this locked in, and you can get started on the steaming. Okay. Ready? Yeah, go for it. Get that air added. Oh, that's probably good there. 
<laughs> we're gonna push this down a little bit. Okay. Yeah, that's lousy. That's all right. Let's do round two. Ah, oh, yeah. Didn't have the steam one on all the way. No, I did not. All right, now that's plenty hot. It's not the end of the earth, okay. but it's not the best. We'll see if we can pour some lots of air out of that. So uh, we'll get yeah, the. Yeah, let's try it. Yeah, go ahead and get the wand wiped up, and yep. we'll go from there. Go in there. That's oh, important that to do that, folks. Yeah, you don't want the milk to get sucked no. back up in your boiler. Oh and... man, that's the end of your boiler if that it, happens. Oh man, it's so bad. You are done. There's no way of cleaning that. You can only replace the boiler. Yeah. Um, All right. Dun, so. Dun, 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 dun. Drum roll, please. Great. And break. Drop down low. Pour fast, right in the center. All right. So we and cut through. Great. Okay. That's a nice little basic heart there. Garlic. <laughs> My typical garlic. Yeah, that's okay. So um, well, actually, let's, 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 let's do a quick little diagnosis of this pour. Yeah. So this is a, a good way to kind of look and see where things could have done a little bit you differently. You can see the bubbles. Yeah. So obviously we could have had a little bit of, you know, our texture could be a little bit better on this, but that's okay. Yeah. There's still some elements of pouring that we can work on too. So this is kind of elongated because you were accidentally backing up a little bit with the ah, tip of the spout okay. um, as you were pouring. So yep. if you can just stay in one spot and pour and faster. And it'll go out. Yeah. And it'll wrap around because you, right. you only have so much foam on the top of this this beverage. Yep. And so anytime that you add foam, it's going to disappear somewhere. And it's always right behind the, the stream of, gotcha. the, of the milk. And so that's why it wraps around um, like that and gets that nice little top okay. dimple there. Um, why don't we cut? Yeah. We'll do it again. See if I can't get it better. Yeah, of course. Second time around. Okay, we're ready to go. Take two on this. All so. right. Get it locked in and get some espresso going. Purge this. Okay, angle, 15 degrees or yep. so. Yeah. About like that. Yeah, it's looking good. And then like this and another yeah. 15 degrees uh, like that. Yeah, go for it. Get it all the way on at once. Great, and then lower it, get that air. Big bubbles will pop What's out. with those big bubbles? Yeah, so they're going to disappear. <laughs> boink, boink. <laughs> Let's pop them right out. There. It'll be great. Look at this before it turns into something nasty. There's that for you. Not, I mean, you know, it's not the yeah, end of the Yeah, it's not too bad. The no. big bubbles pop out pretty easy on the on that particular one. No, that's not so bad. Yeah. I give myself a, a, a C or a B yeah. on that maybe. Yeah. But the telling is in this. Yeah, right? we'll see how it goes. So. Yeah. All right, let's uh, keep the plan in mind. 50% full, and then we'll drop down in, pour faster. Right there, perfect. And then drop in. I see big bubbles. Pour fast. It's okay. Just there you go. And then cut through. All right, so it's we had the. It's still a garlic. We had the backup <laughs> thing happen again. No, so see, you kind of backed up a little bit yeah, as you was, were going. And I was watching that too. Yeah. So if you if you just start like put your stream right there and just leave it and just pour fast. Interesting. That'll kind of get that nice wrap for you because as you're backing up the. You want to do third time to charm? Yeah, let's do it. Let's yeah, do let's it. Let's keep going until we get it. bang them out it's not too bad it's not not it's probably as good as anybody's going to get at home for sure okay all right great that's good go for it And give it a nice swirl before you get started this? pouring uh, the milk. Oh, the milk, yeah. Yeah. You want to keep that foam integrated as right. long as you can before you pour. Yep. Great. Good to go. All right. Number three. Something about that charm thing. Yeah. All right. All right, then break. And stay right in the center of the cup. Perfect a little faster. Okay. And then lift up and draw through. So less garlicky that time, right? <laughs> yeah, less garlicky, but... Uh, a little small. Yeah. Just because uh, we didn't get it quite to pop up. Fast we enough. 
Yeah, so yeah. We, if we could have poured a little faster and stayed just a little closer to the surface, it would have popped up a little bit more and kind of cool. filled the cup up a little bit more. But hey. um, yeah, you didn't back up as much this time. I so was it, really paying yeah, attention to that. Yeah, it left us uh, with a little nice, yeah. more nicely shaped heart this time. So yeah, latte art's one of those things that's uh, easy to pick up the basics, but you know, it takes oh. a little bit of time to master. Oh, cheers. Uh, yeah. Cheers and gallons of milk. <laughs> so much milk. All right, so, <laughs> so. Excellent. Thanks for watching, folks. Sign up for our YouTube channel below. Then you'll be notified for day four. We're yeah. at one, two, three, four, right? We are, yeah. Right? And what are we going to do day four? Um, probably going to cover some Rosetta technique and just a little bit of rippling and some of those sorts of things. All right. Thanks, Max. Yeah, of course.